Uh, Coach, how did it feel to, to get the ring and the, the jacket from the state championship team? Uh, it was it was unbelievable. Uh, the atmosphere out here at City Park right now was uh, was phenomenal. These young men out here put together a great event. Uh, kudos to the Reading High players for putting together this three on three event for their city and for their community. Um, but again, it's hard work. You know, you don't you don't get this stuff without going through uh, obstacles and and everything that we've been through um, for during COVID. You know, was. Was, was very was very strong for us to stick together and to come out on top as we did uh, says a lot about the character of these young men. You have a really strong bond with Coach Perez. Uh, tell me about that relationship with him. Uh, that's my big brother. Um, you know, no matter what we do in life, we always know that we're going to be one. Um, he always protects me. Always protect him. Um, you know, we have grown together over 37 years of life together. Um, we have always been one. Um, so you know, we're always going to support each other no matter where we're at. You're now at Muhlenberg as the head coach there. Aside from my text messages to you telling you to apply and repeatedly telling you to apply, what made you interested and why did you finally decide to go ahead and, and go after that job? Um, it's always, you always want to go back home uh, to where it all started at. You know, my first coaching opportunity was at Muhlenberg as a JV coach. Um, but when I sat down with my family, uh, we, we dealt with a lot through COVID with my father passing. Um, it, it was it was a lot to think about, but then you know when you have the guy, the people I have in my corner, uh, my wife, my brother, his family, Coach Perez and his family, and my mother most importantly, um, it was time. You know they, they gave me the words that I need to hear. You can do this. Dad got you. You're going to be all right. Um, so you know I took opportunity. I love being out there. Um, it's been amazing so far. We've only been in the gym for about two and a half months now, um, but we played a ton of games. Um, and we're seeing progress throughout the summer already. You mentioned your brother. He's not here, so we're going to have a little fun. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you some questions about you and Rob, who's head coach Daniel Boone, football, of course. And I want your honest answers, all right? Uh, okay. So better looking, you or Rob? I'm better looking. You, he, he wears the beard to look like me. Who's tougher? Um, I'm going to say he's tougher. He's been through a lot. Um, you know, as a baby of the family, you don't you don't have to work too hard to get stuff. Um, but everything that he's been through, um, from high school to college, um, he's, he's definitely tough. Better athlete. He's better in football. I'm better in basketball. <laughs> and I always tell him that. He lost to Twin Valley in football. I beat Reading High as a senior at Millenburg. If you had a wrestling match, steel cage, who's the guy who walks out? Me. He doesn't want to wrestle with me. He knows that. You he'll, answer that pretty quick. He'll tell you that. He'll tell you, I don't want to wrestle with him. <laughs> And better in football. He was. All right. The Dallas Cowboys is always better, but Rob Flowers is better in football. All right. Well, I appreciate your time, and good uh, luck uh, once basketball you. season comes around. Thank you. I appreciate it. Go Mules.